Welcome back, Sleeper Gang. We're looking at Ethereum Classic on the daily time frame right now. So before I do get into the smaller time frame here, I do want to just go into the monthly chart, more monthly candles. And what I want to necessarily talk about this is if we end up taking out the low setback from uh, June of 2022, I do think September of 2023 is going to be the month that that ends up happening. Because, well, today is the last day of August of 2023. September, looking at the structure on the monthly time frame, really two things happen here. One, we either start actually reversing from here. Or two, we're going to break down. Uh, I don't see how we would really just range here for another month in September. So, I do think a big move is coming. It's really, you're just taking your bet on which direction it is. Seeing these wicks right here. Um are not necessarily terrible and then even if we can close up even higher for the month would it be even better which today or not today this month we opened at 1847 high was at 1857 low was at 1360 and right now excuse me we're at 1614 which we're down about 12 percent for the month so if we end up dropping down then it could be ten dollars could be eleven dollars but either way i did just want to get that out of the way so hopping back into the four hour time frame from here we can turn all this lovely stuff back on but i did just want to get that out of the way so right now what can we see we did end up coming back on down into one of our boxes over here and we did end up breaking or we actually did end up finding resistance at um pretty much where we said this was your prior support so we could ultimately end up finding this as a resistance and then on top of that you pretty much even came up to this other wick over here a little shy of that now however we didn't get into our supply box at least not as of yet but you can see with our lower box down here we ended up wicking right into it finding it as support right now so what i could end up seeing happening here is that you do actually end up coming back on up um and the low not to break right now is going to be right around there which right around there isn't very helpful because well it's not so the low that you don't want to lose is going to be at 1556 so this little hoopla over here don't break that uh we can get rid of this one and yeah so basically hold 1556 otherwise coming back on up from here we are still looking relatively fine um but this is going to be the next moment or you can see that you did find this as a like harsh rejection so coming back on up from here potentially could lead to making a lower high but looking at the structure right now does not indicate that at least not on the four hour time frame uh hourly yeah hourly kind of same thing but um other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos